It's your boy, Professor Rich, back with another lesson for y'all today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share my content so you can help me grow my channel to its full potential. And I appreciate everyone for watching. Peace. YouTube, what is good? It's your boy, Professor Rich. I'm here again, back with another lesson. And today, I'm doing a subscriber request video. And like I always say, make sure to leave a subscriber request video in the comment section below because I'm always checking them and I get to them as soon as possible. So I'm just going to dive into the topic for today and read the comment. And this is from Josh 2 Wavy. Fire emoji. Hey, could you make a vid on spit and game? And yes, I can, bro. That's why I'm here. And first, I want to say shout out to you because... You didn't ask me how to DM women or text women. You're actually trying to meet women in real life. So good for you, bro. And second, the ways is looking healthy, bro. I, I respect it for the culture. So how I translated that comment was approaching like a random woman that you don't know and trying to get her number or something like that. And that is what people call cold approach. And before I even get into the topic for the day, I'm just going to talk about why having game and spitting game is important. I said this in another video in the past, and I'm just going to repeat it again for good measure. A, a woman will decide within the first few seconds to minutes of meeting you just off of looks alone if she's going to sleep with you. And you can open your mouth and ruin it all completely and just ruin your chances of that happening. And she'll dry right up and change her mind, if you know what I mean. So, spitting game is mostly about confidence. A woman can always pick up on an insecure man or someone who is pretending to be confident or someone who is not confident. So confidence is key. I need you guys to keep that in mind. And in this video, I'll just be giving some of you guys some basic tips of what I do. It's honestly pretty simple. I don't like to overcomplicate anything in life. And the tips I'm giving you, I'm not saying this is the only way to do it. There are plenty of other ways I know you have to get creative, but I'm just I'm just giving you guys like the basics, like the clean cut basic straight to the point what I do sometimes. And I'll be bringing women on this channel in the future to talk about topics and to pick their brain as well. But one thing we're not doing if you watch this channel is the cat calling or saying, damn, girl you pretty as hell stuff like that you know what i mean and before i get into like the the tips part of it i want you guys to keep in mind that not every girl is going to find you attractive and you're not going to get every girl that you talk to that's just like statistically speaking so i always like to use myself as an example i'm six eight I got hella tattoos. Women have told me I'm a good looking guy and I've gotten rejected before more times than I would like, but it's really all part of the game. And nine times out of 10 from what women have told me is that I probably ruined it for myself by coming off too desperate or too strong or my approach just wasn't the right way. And that's why this video is important. So my friend Carmelita, we're not friends anymore. She told me I could get any woman I want if I just took it down a notch. So that's why I'm making this video to help you guys as well in the process. So the best thing when dealing with rejection, which I stress a lot on this channel, is to work on yourself in every aspect so that you can get the girls that you want and use hypergamy to your advantage and then come back and get the girl that may have rejected you or sleep with her and or just get a better woman in general either way it's a rewarding feeling to be able to get the woman and the preference that you want all right look i'm just going to start the topic and talk about what you guys came here for so when it comes to spinning game and a
cold approaching a woman that you don't know sometimes less is more if you walk up to a random woman the first thing first first things first you want to make sure that you're getting choosing signals walking up to a woman and not getting choosing signals can make you that can humble you very quickly and make you very salty and i'll cover that topic another day but a choosing signal is pretty much a woman acknowledging your presence or your existence and she may be like constantly looking at you or making eye contact with you or she may just constantly be walking in your area or she might ask you like a dumb question just to get the conversation started so the importance importance of picking up on the choosing signal is that most girls unless like a select few will give you choosing signals and not approach you or make the first move so it's really important that you're able to pick up on these choosing signals and seize the moment or at least acknowledge that she may be interested in you in some aspects. So when after you pick up the choosing signal, you want to make the approach. And when you walk up to a woman you don't know, first impressions are everything. Walk up confidently. You have to walk up giving off big dick energy like and like back in the day in the past i've walked up to a girl right next to her boyfriend back when i was drawing and if she was giving me choosing signals, i would shoot my shot right in front of her boyfriend i really just that's when i cared less so i say that to say don't be scared don't be scared to approach a woman especially she's giving you choosing signals because a woman just doesn't stare at something she's not interested it's like going shoe stopping you you look at the shoes that the jordans or the the expensive pair of shoes that you want you don't keep on looking at the ugly sketchers or something okay so once you make the approach what i like to do is i either ask her her name or introduce myself i'll be like hey what's up my name is rich what's your name or vice versa and i do that and a deep confident voice like i'm going to say confidence is key and don't don't walk up to her and talk all quick or be extra or be awkward because she'll dry up don't hi my name my name's richard like what what no don't don't do that like that's that's that again and while you're introducing yourself look into her eyes like I said, be confident. Eye contact is important. While you're looking in her eyes, like, look look past her eyes and look into her soul, bro. I was at a party, like, a couple years back, and I had some girl kissing on me in the basement while her boyfriend was upstairs at this party because the way I looked into her eyes. And she said, I looked into her eyes like I could see her completely or I was in control or, or some something like that. But the the really the main point is don't be awkward like when when you make the approach you have to be confident and when you what when you walk up and talk to a girl she's giving you choosing signals don't worry about if she has a boyfriend or if she's married or if she has a baby dad because really none of that is your problem none of that really matters to you i I personally don't ask if she has a boyfriend or is married because, bro, like, it's not my business. And every woman at the end of the day is going to be single for that right guy, her preference, like the guy that gets her gets her dripping like on like a a primal level. If you haven't already, watch my video if you should smash his baby mom wife or girlfriend or something like that it's it's in my past uploads but after she tells you her name and you introduce yourself maybe maybe i do some small talk like to see if we have some type of common interest or something like that 
But really the main goal is giving her your number. Don't ask for her number. Tell her to take your number. First, I say that because because it's it's really it's alpha as fuck. I'm just going to be honest. And it gives off confident energy because you were letting her make the choice if she wants to hit you up. If she takes your if she takes your number, she may be interested and you asking for her number is really basic. If, especially if she's pretty. I know this if you guys are walking up to a random girl, you think she's pretty. Bro, she 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 gets guys that ask her for her number probably every single day or everywhere she goes. Like it's just part of being pretty. And you want to you want to stand out a little bit. Now, if she hits you up, bro, like that's that was that that's like the hardest part. She's definitely interested in you. And I say that because even if she has a boyfriend, a husband or whatever, why else would she hit you up? And just because you give her number and she doesn't text you that very second or that hour, you might not get a text back that day, uh, next week or next month. But if she randomly hits you up, bro, she, she's interested, bro. Trust me. And I say that off of me. I always use myself as an example. I've given my, my number to girls with boyfriends or something like that. And I've gotten the text back that that moment, the next day, the next hour, or the next week, or the next month. Like, it might take a year, bro. But you might catch her on a good day when she's mad at her boyfriend. Because what it really comes down to for women is how they're feeling about their significant other in that moment. That's what might give you an opening. But that's a video topic for another day. Now... I'm going to talk about like the rejection part or the like the shit test part. If she asks you why you want her number, bro, tell her tell her straight up. Tell her something like I'm trying to chill with you and get to know you. I think you're pretty and I like to share my company with you. Because at the end of the day, bro, you know what you want from this woman. So you have to you have to you have to let your your desires be known, but in like a respectful, like calm, confident manner. And if, if she says no, bro, it's part of the game. Say nice to me and you know, walk away. Don't even, don't even let it fade you. Don't, don't dwell on it too much because that's where the self-improvement aspect comes in. Go self-improve, bro. Go hit the gym. And next time you walk up to a beautiful woman, bro, she she's going to take your number. If you're putting the enough work on improving yourself on a daily basis. That's why I stress this on my channel so much. And look, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I was at the, the glasses store or something. And there was two girls, I think. They was both giving me choosing signals. But... This happened to me this year. Um, I went in to get something fixed for my glasses, and she was older, and she dubbed my shit straight up. Like, I told her you'll take my number. She asked me why, and she was about she was about to take it. Then she asked me how old I was, and she was like thirty or something. And I'm I'm still kind of young, but really, I I've been with women that are older than 30 before so maybe i just wasn't her preference something maybe i wasn't what she was looking for but it's all part of the game i didn't stress that i didn't stress about it bro like there's plenty of women i might go back next time i'm in the glasses shop and shoot my shot the other woman like bro like it really doesn't matter i say that all to say i do not care who you are bro i don't care if you're idris elba denzel washington Leonardo DiCaprio, all of them have been rejected by at least one woman in their life, bro. Not every woman is going to find you attractive, and that's a fact. I I'm saying that to give you, like, some peace of mind. And if she says she has a boyfriend or something on the off chance we get, like, she's talking to you and she's giving you a choosing signal, bro, look, tell her to take your number anyway 
in case it don't work out or if she gets tired of the relationship lifestyle and if she wants a chance. Like, the worst thing she can say is no. I've done it before, and I've gotten that call while she was still with her boyfriend, bro, because she was choosing, bro. And if she takes it after she tells you she has a boyfriend, you're like, yo, just take it anyway. She's interested. Tr Trust me, bro. She's interested. The main thing after getting a woman's number is not being too clingy or coming off too desperate and texting her day and night. Women hate clingy men. And the best thing, the best advice I can give you is after you get her number is to set up a day and time to link up. Hit her up that day and see what happens. Don't let anyone waste your time, though. I don't care how bad she is. If she baits you or she stands you up without notice, for nigga drop her forget forget about that one bro because she doesn't she doesn't value your time she doesn't respect your time and you don't need to be out here chasing women or jumping through loops to try to attract the attention of one woman bro we should all have an abundance lifestyle and that's a video talk for another day but look it's different if she tells you ahead of time that she's not able to chill or if she's not free because that means she at least gave you the like the the respect to tell you that she won't be able to make it and if that happens tell her you're gonna have she's gonna have to make it up to you next time and that gives you more of a a control and the next place that you hang out because she has to make it up to you like this is the videos ending soon but you the really important thing is that you have to make your intentions clear from the beginning. Bro, You, if she's beautiful, you know what you want from her, bro. But you don't want to be her friend. So don't make the mistake of giving her the friendship vibe or put yourself in the friend zone. But also don't come out and say off rip, I'm trying to sleep with you. Find a classy way to word your intentions. And maybe I'll make a video about that in the future. Because at the end of the day, you may have to sell her a dream. But really, don't be out here lying to women to get them to sleep with you. Saying that you love her or stuff like that. Because, bro, that just makes all men look bad. And you're really just playing with her emotions for no reason. I say that to say... There are girls out here that want to get their guts dug out just as much as you want to sleep with them. Sometimes even more if it's been a while for her, bro. I had a girl tell me, what, like, last week? She texted me saying, when are you going to give that dick up? So the the women are out there, and she isn't ugly. She She is very beautiful, and she has a lot of guys that are really thirsty over her but she she hit me up so i'm saying so if you haven't already checked out my video on how to make a woman have the best orgasm of her life check that out so that after you go through all the the motions you can have her coming back for more and you're able to be more knowledgeable on how to sexually please a woman that was my video topic for the day Josh to Wavy, I appreciate you leaving a comment for me to make this video. Be the fuck easy. Peace.